What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. We don't have a Jeep part to install in this video, but what we do have is the new Harbor Freight Badlands Off-Road Jack. I've been super excited about this, mostly because I've always wanted an off-road jack, but I didn't want to spend 600 bucks on it. For 299, I think this might be a viable option, but before we even get to that, are they useful off-road? What kind of benefits, exactly, or in your shop? What difference is an actual off-road jack and what is this gonna do on the trails? We're gonna take a look at it, we're gonna take it out and test it off off-road yeah. to see how good an off-road jack actually works off-road. We have our handy dandy shop jack as well. You know, just because it's an off-road jack doesn't mean it can't just be a really cool yeah. shop jack. We got a lot to do. Let's get this thing out of the box, take an up close look before we hit the trails. I need to fix that vent. Yeah. Luckily, it looks like the install or assembly of this thing is pretty straightforward. All we really have to do is put the wheels on. Now, the first thing I noticed just from picking up this jack is it's extremely heavy. I think it's oh, totally assembled. It's close to 70 pounds. So that's something to keep in mind if you plan on bringing this with you on every single off-road journey. Not only do you have to keep the space for it, but you also have to keep in mind that this thing is a lot heavier. That, that's going to be a problem. But before we go any further, let's go ahead and get the wheels on this thing and start assembling it. thing out oh, it is definitely heavy and this is big this is what I'm curious about how does it feel rolling it it feels massive compared to I mean that's a huge difference it is much bigger so like if you have a one-car garage I right off the bat this might be too big to try to maneuver around a, <laughs> a garage you know with the, the rear wheels on this with the casters we can move it around whereas with the off-road jack we have to have that latch right oh yeah and then you have position, to lift and you have to lift up and swivel on the rear which is actually really easy it, it feels extremely nimble and able to do that but you have to have the real estate <laughs> the real est to be able to do it all right i definitely think it's going to have enough height the second tire just came up off the ground and we're not even close to being maxed no. out no she is i feel like this isn't the camera didn't even do it justice i mean that no, that's that is, over a foot off like overkill in regards to changing the tire so let's go ahead and lower it down very controlled we are maxed out and as you can tell it's not tall enough to actually lift the jeep and uncompress the entire suspension so we could remove a tire but we wouldn't be able to get to this point with a standard floor jack anyways we'd have to jack it up using a 4x4 four four or something else but this came extremely close, unfortunately. It's just a little bit too short. I could see this being extremely useful in the shop for installing lift kits or just replacing your standard jack. Maneuvering it is, well, maneuvering <laughs> it is still a little bit awkward. You're still learning. But in all fairness, this is designed as an off-road jack, so let's go hit the trails and see how this thing does off-road in a bunch of different environments.
ready. Should we always push it? Yep. I'd say it's safe to say that this thing pretty much handled everything that we threw at it. Whether the different terrain, underwater, on the rocks, off camber, this thing did a phenomenal job. And at the same time, it held up extremely well. There's really no major damage to this thing. We'll go over a few, few small parts that broke, but there is one big thing that I wanna point out. First off, I don't know how any other off-road jack was ever designed without having an, a little locking lever in place here to use as the handle. Without the casters, this thing is a little bit hard to maneuver around, not only in the shop, but actually out on the trails as well. And there is one thing that I really wish Harbor Freight added to this jack, and they almost made it. It's, it's there, at least in the instructions and the descriptions of the jack. They talk about a rear wheel lock. And I was excited to see that, and unfortunately, I just don't see it. It's not here. It would be pretty handy to have that because these wheels are big, they're easy to roll around, and let's be honest, when we're off-road, most of the time we're not on a completely flat level surface. And there were times when I would lay it on the ground and it would kind of want to roll a little bit. I could see if we're on a very, very steep incline, this thing just rolling away. But how did it hold up? There aren't too many major issues with it except for a few small kind of aesthetic things. The rubber uh, pad up here, of course, that broke. Anytime we're gonna put this on a sharp bracket or something on your axle, if it's pinched on there, the rubber's just gonna break. But then again, it is kind of a thin rubber pad. We probably could get an aftermarket or just steal one from a different size jack or find something from a lifting pad to replace that. But honestly, 
I'm not too worried about it. It's still gonna do the job. We did have an issue on this handle over here, the little handle bracket. That was just when we were driving over it, so kind of an unusual circumstance. But it seemed to bend pretty easy. That is an extremely thin tab, so it bent right back without any issues, but in the future I could see maybe upgrading or doing a, uh, a new style mount just for this strap right here. And it looks like that strap is probably on its short lived days. Now for the underside, the skid plate, it did its job. There's a few new dents and scratches in there, but for the most part, we probably put like a year of use into this thing in that one day, just making these clips. I don't think this is something that I would recommend having as like a toolkit for every single time you go wheeling. It is large, it's heavy, it takes up a lot of room. And for the most part, unless you're doing an, a like huge repair, it's a little bit unneeded. I think this thing really shines for those of you that have a trailer, or if you do have a big truck that you off-road with and you have plenty of room, sure, this thing is gonna handle it every time, anytime, whatever you're doing. If I'm doing a trail side repair, I really do hope that somebody would bring one of these or at least have one. And I think this is kind of like just a novelty item as well. If you have a lifted truck, a lifted Jeep, lifted SUV, or just any big vehicle, I think this is cool to have in your shop, whether you off-road or not. And then again, Harbor Freight has been in the Jack game for quite a while now. And in regards to their off-road department, they've really been stepping it up a few notches. This Jack, $299, definitely worth it. I think it'd make a good present as well. So whether or not you're a fan of bringing these things on the trail with you, it's good to know that these can hold up and actually work really good as an off-road jack. That's about it for this video, guys. Like always, thanks for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next video.